I was just as shocked as everyone else when I heard the news back in June about Squarespace. In this video, I plan to review what's actually going to happen, what your options are, and what I personally plan to do with the 28 domain names that I currently have registered with Google Domains. In case you missed it, Squarespace will be buying Google Domains. This means that if you currently have your domain registered with Google Domains, you will soon become a Squarespace Domains customer and Google Domains will cease to exist. The timeline for this is very unclear, but according to an email from Google on August 15th, 2023, the migration process will likely take place over the next few months. So this all could happen by the end of the year, but what can you do now to prepare? Well, you have two options. Option number one, don't do anything and let your domain registration be automatically transferred to Squarespace. And option number two, transfer your domain name registration to another provider. But before you make a decision, I think you wanna hear what I have to say next about future pricing for Squarespace domains. Squarespace makes it clear that it will honor Google domains pricing for at least 12 months after the acquisition, which made me curious about how much Squarespace domains cost. So I did some digging and found out that the cheapest domain goes for $20 a year on Squarespace, while on the flip side, there are dozens of Google domains for much less than 20 bucks. A deeper analysis of mine where I manually compared Google domains prices to Squarespace domains revealed that of the 300 and some domain endings available for registration, around 92% will be seeing a price increase of on average over 50% per year with a lot of domains doubling in price or more. Right now, my 28 Google domains cost me $593 per year to register, and with the eventual Squarespace price increase, I'd be looking at paying over $800 for the same registration. But there is one thing you can do now to lock in Google domains prices. You see, when the Squarespace migration happens, it won't just be your domain name that gets transferred, but also the expiration date of the domain name. In other words, you can add years to your domain registration now at the Google Domains rate before the migration happens. To do this, find your domain on Google Domains, click the current renewal date, then click add years, at which point you can add up to 10 years of registration in some cases. This will be a large upfront cost and might not make sense for some of you, but I wanna make you aware of this option as this is exactly what I've done because for me personally, my plan is to allow my domains to be migrated over and give Squarespace a shot. As far as I can tell, the Squarespace domains user interface is similar to that of Google domains. And there are many of the same features that we love about Google domains, including email alias forwarding, free SSL certificates for HTTPS, and who is privacy protection, which this video right here will explain exactly what that is and why you should never pay extra for it.